Tomorrow's the art gallery opening and we will be having probably close to 400 people as far as we can tell at this point. Uh, we're hoping for as many as possible. We want it to be just one of those crazy, crazy shindigs happenings that people talk about for a long time. Um, we've invited everyone from major collectors who live in New York to major um, you know, celebrities, everyone. Everyone we know, everyone we can get their address or email address from. Well, to be involved on the level of working with Joseph, you've got to get it because there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. You're going to be walking through a park in the middle of the night trying to steal rocks. You know, you're going to be hauling things that are way too he heavy for you to be hauling or getting real, real dirty some days. It's difficult work, but like we all do it because we love it and we believe so truly in what we're doing and how we're helping, you know, get his word out there or get you know, the paintings out there. When I first opened it, I was really freaked out about presenting my artwork in public, even though I've had show, uh, one or two shows before. But just in my own, where I live, you know, in this neighborhood, you know, New York and stuff like that. Just, um, I guess you, when you do stuff like this, then you find out it's just no big deal. You know what I mean? It's all like, yeah, so what? And it's like, you know, uh, you don't have to be the best at something to, to present it necessarily. When we first came up with the idea of Momar going to a very sort of famous gallerist in Soho who was a friend of mine and speaking to him about this and he looked at me like I was insane, you know, sort of naming a space which you're not even calling a gallery but a museum after yourself with a name that's so close to one of the most important museums in the world is, is, is a very anti-establishment move and it's very new and it's in, in my book, it's almost a revolutionary approach to um, to to do this. You know, it's um, to do it your own way. If you're going to do something new and different in a way that's not cookie cutter, you've got to have just the basis of enthusiasm. Past enthusiasm, you can learn to do anything. You know, and that I think Joe is a major proprietor of that. He believes that like if you've got the enthusiasm and the drive you can figure anything out and that's basically how we run most of the businesses and just realizing that you know there's no formula. This is not how you go about it. This is not how you go about it. What, you, what a, the artist does is he hopes to be sought by a gallery and then shown you know and this is in the same way that you know he has his own record label and puts out albums himself, it's I don't need that. You know, I'm going to do it my way. What's the point of being an artist? You know, if you're not pushing boundaries, I mean, I think that's the job of the artist is to push boundaries. You know, ultimately, and it's always unpopular when you do that because it gets it, it, your purpose is to get people out of their comfort zone. You know, is to like expand the consciousness of humanity in general. And that's always an unpopular thing to do because it makes people uncomfortable. So there's going to be a lot of people on the street and we've got over 300 bars to keep down. Are you kidding? Yeah. So are you going to have Confirmed. to. pretty much. So are you going to have to only let people in with a uh, ticket? The name? With the guest list, yeah. We're going to have a security man outside with a guest list. And then we'll be kind of rotating around and being like, oh, yeah, that's fine. Or or not. Right. Oh. So it's going to be nuts. And it's all going to get filmed. <laughs> <laughs> As you can see it. <laughs>
Actually, this is my first time here. I, I came as an artist, and uh, curiosity brought me here. So, uh, so yeah, that, that's. Uh, but from this point on, I guess I'm gonna have to look <laughs> look into it and see what he's got. When, I, when we met, just the apartment he was living in. The first time I went over to his apartment, it was just full of artwork everywhere. It, you know, it's just it's just amazing how much artwork he could fit in this little apartment. And then, you know, he lived down the street here in, in Dumbo for a while in a bigger place but continue to expand and, and grow. And, With the music he writes, most of it has words, and words can be restrictive in a certain way, or they can be very, they can expose you, <coughs> literally, literally. So with painting, he can go places that I feel like are darker, and he doesn't really bring that into the music that much. The music can be lonely or you know sad or something, but the painting really gets to like a deep psyche stuff. Something is vi dynamic going on. I, I think when I've worked with artists like the Ramones, Talking Heads, these are artists that I'm fortunate to work with, Lou Reed, that are evolving into more... Um, they had something to give to the world that was very different and creative and, uh, I don't know, very smart, too, people. Uh, Joseph is along that line, and I think that he's, gonna, he's in that area, a family of musicians like that. And that's what stimulates us to work with him. The fact that he has a lot to offer to the world, much more too. And it's just starting right now. It's just it's just become a huge thing in the world. <laughs> 